Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I will show you how to control your Chromecast with a standard TV remote control and explain why you might wanna do this. So I've tested out a bunch of streaming media devices and have ultimately settled on Chromecast as the tool of choice for our household. If you're interested in my full rationale, you can check out my video on this, but basically it's cheap, it's efficient, it's easy to use, and the original versions don't have their own easy to lose remotes. Chromecast has, um, you use your own device, your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, to choose the show that you'd like to watch, and then you simply hit a button in the app to cast it or wirelessly stream it to play on your TV or monitor or whatever you have your Chromecast attached to. In 2020, Google launched Chromecast with Google TV, which comes with its own dedicated remote, but the original remoteless system is elegant and usually works well. There are some issues, of course. First of all, sometimes your app, say HBO Max, will lose connection with the Chromecast, so it continues to play on the TV, even though it's no longer playing in the app. In that case, you have to go into the Google Home app, find the offending Chromecast, and stop casting it there. Then you can always recast it from the HBO Max app. But perhaps a bigger deal is that if you happen to get a phone call or a knock on the door, since the original Chromecast version didn't have their own remotes, in order to pause the show, you would need to log into your device, navigate to the app, wait for it to load up, and then hit pause. So that process is long and annoying. And sometimes you're getting a call on the very device that you need to use to pause the show, which means you have to do all of that after you answer the phone, which is of course less than ideal. So here is a solution to that problem that does not require you to have a separate dedicated remote. You might be able to use your regular TV remote to also control your Chromecast. What you'll need to do is enable something called HDMI CEC on your TV. HDMI CEC stands for HDMI Consumer Electronics Control. In short, it allows devices that are attached to the HDMI ports of your TV to have some influence over the TV itself and for the TV to be able to control some things on the devices. It basically allows your TV and devices to communicate with each other in limited ways. So don't despair if you can't find the setting for HDMI CEC on your TV. For whatever reason, each brand likes to call this feature something branded and cute. On Philips TVs, it's called EasyLink. On Samsung, it's called AnyNet Plus. I have a list of popular brands and their HDMI CEC nicknames in the description below, courtesy of HowToGeekGeek.com. I'll walk you through how I enabled HDMI CEC on my Vizio TV. First, I pressed the menu button on my TV remote. Then I chose settings. From here, I chose CEC settings. Uh, that is what Vizio chooses to call HDMI CEC. And set the CEC function to on. And now it is enabled. So the controls that you have access to are still pretty limited, but I found this to be practically life-changing. You can hit play on your remote to start action, pause to stop action, and hitting stop will break the connection between your app and your Chromecast. I love this and will definitely opt to spend some time looking for the remote rather than have to use the time consuming controls on the app on my device. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching. 